Right, which class is the best, uh, best chance in? I would like to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but no chance with that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably for me, would, uh, I have to say it probably electric bike race. Alright, oh, okay. But I've got some other fella, I don't know who he is. Some other old grey-haired fella who's going to be my teammate, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Mm. Yeah, well, we'll wait and see. All right, Michael, who's the most impressive or talented person you've raced against at the TT? Oh, God, right. I think watching, um, when I, I only just did one year, though, was uh, Stevie Slop took me around for half a lap, and then he got real bored and cleared off. And then it really hurts me to say to um, watching you, John, as well. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. I'm, oh. <laughs> I remember seeing him as a newcomer with his orange jacket on. I watched the race at Caramo and he come past wobbling feet off the pegs. Yeah. The old RC45 wasn't very stable, was it? He wasn't the best handling bike out there, no. <laughs> If you had a time machine, what piece of advice would you give yourself before you first TT race? Wow. If I had a time machine? Oh, God, yeah, dead easy one. Um, should have had my eyes lasered because uh, my contact lenses get falling out. <laughs> yeah, I, couldn't, I couldn't see bugger all there, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think that's a bit of advice to me. I, I should, um, you know, because helmets never used to seal very well then in the old days. Didn't your contact lens fell out once in a race? Twice it fell out. 1998 yeah. fell out, didn't it, on the RC45? Yeah, I, I was leading and then, um, and uh, I closed my eye and then my contact lens fell out. And, Two laps later, the other one fell out. So, um, yeah, it wasn't the best of uh, um, doing those speeds around the Isle of Man with the, where you can't see very well. And I couldn't see, I couldn't, you know, it, uh, it was that bad, it made you look attractive. <laughs> so, what are you smirking at? <laughs> right, what's your favourite spot on the TT course? Well, my favourite spot is my own corner, Michael. So. How amazing is that? Yeah, it's... Uh, and that's where you'd like to watch from as well, is that really? I'd like to go and watch there, yeah. It's... Uh, when I retire, I'm going to go there with a few beers. Well, that won't be long, will it? Uh, not, well, not far away, are we? And you're as well. No, same age, by the way, same yeah, age. Two, Mike, who's the oldest? You are, two days. Oh, you're old. Oh. Yeah, it's called McGuinness's. It's after handle his bends. Uh, it's sort of a left and a right and a left sort of natural chicane with a bit of a uh, type drop off thing and then a uh, and then a real fast left. And it's weird, really. I, d I don't know why I chose that. You know, I had all sort of track to choose from, and that just came to my head straight away. And was that the corner I passed you in 2000? Was that? Was uh, it? No, it wasn't. I'm not sure if you've ever passed me around here. Might, <laughs> have, been, might have been on a bus or something, or on a bicycle. <laughs> I passed Owen McNelly through there when I won my first TT. And unfortunately, Owen McNelly's not with us anymore. He was on a Aprilia, and he hesitated. He was number three, I was number four, and I passed him. And I passed Archibald just on the exit of there when I won my first Superbike TT. So oh, just, it is an amazing corner. Just sort of sticks in my head, you know, there's never anybody there, no spectators, just a marshal and uh, a few sheep and that. Mm. No, it's, uh, it is a spectacular corner, very good. Let's have, a, have another dip. Team is more special now, it's named after you. Yeah, well, when I'm gone, it's still going to be McGuinness's forever, etched in the record books. Still right. a tear coming. I'm still going to be on the map. <laughs> How have you spent the winter off-season? Oh, well, training every, every uh, couple of days, been uh, down the gym. You wouldn't have to spell it, never mind, do it. No way have you been traded. <laughs> oh, right, this one, I know which this will be. Um, which was your best TT win? How do you know which one it is? Well, because I, I think it's your last one. Because that's the one where I thought you rode the best. Did you? Yeah. I wouldn't. Uh, I think it was a good one, 15 senior, but it was only four laps. There's something just not yeah, quite the same about a four yeah, lap race. You, uh, I must admit, it was the best I've ever. Seen your ride, but obviously I didn't see it. So, but I mean, I, I watched it on video, and it was special because everybody wrote me off, and I was old and, and yeah, fat, fat and stuff like that. Yeah. And then every, every, everybody thought I wouldn't be able to do it. So, and I was 18 to one at the bookies, which made it even more special. So, I thought I'm a, lo I'm a little bit better than that, you asshole. So, I dug deep, and uh... no, because you had you had um, obviously Michael Dunlop as well, and myself, uh, you know, out there, and. Uh, well, Hutchie was flying, Guy Martin was flying at the time, I was going OK. I know, I was just a little bit behind the eight ball through the week and that. But first win special, 250. Uh, but 
you know, the, the 2007 130 lap was pretty special. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know. It was just really hot, the weather was good, it was one lap. 130 was only done once by one person on one lap, so that was, uh, was always pretty cool, but uh, I mean, all of them are special, aren't they? Anyway, stop going on about it. Yeah. Is it me? Is yeah. it you? We're running out of questions here. <laughs> What's your favourite corner or section of the TT course? Well, it's in your corner, I'll tell you that now. <laughs> it's only because you're rubbish around it. Um, yeah, hi, I'm actually not very good through there. Um, uh, ooh. I always like past start and finish down Bray Hill and that section. Oh, I just think. On a flying lap, you can't beat coming past start and finish on a, you know, especially on your first lap out in practice and uh, uh, on your last lap of the race as well when you, you when you cross the line, <laughs> it's over. So yeah, I've got to say that. You had that t-shirt on last night in uh, Hong Kong. That'll be stinking now. <laughs> you can tell. Right. Did you ever think that you'll need to do a 135 mile hour lap to win? Mm -hmm. You'll need to do one now to win. I didn't think it last year. I didn't see it come in the 135. I thought mid 134s were possible, but old uh, Hickey just lifted the bar even further, didn't he? Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean. Do you think you'll be broken this year? Uh, depends on the weather. It depends if it goes down to the last lap. Do you think you can do 135 mile an hour lap? Oh, Jesus. Uh, my hand on my heart, probably not in the minute, but I'd like to think so. I don't, I don't think. Is, I think that because so of, is that because of you or just because it's a new bike? A little bit of everything, really. I mean, two years away from, from riding at TT, it's just, you know, it, you need to be riding all the time. Those, what saved me was the two laps at, at, the, at the TT on the note doing them parades and then the classic TT. So I found a little bit of love again and passion for it and to come back as well. But uh, it has to go down, it has, the weather's got to be right and it has to go down to the last lap because every time the senior has been won for years and years, I can never ever remember. Well, I can, the last time it went head to head was Fogarty and and Hizzy on the Norton and the MR, then the lap record was broken on the last lap, but normally the race is panned out, isn't it? So the last lap, somebody's got a big lead, the only flying lap, it's normally cruising to the, cruising to the flag, but they had to, to dig really, really deep to... Very good. One word answer would have been perfect for well, that. Well, all right then. Sorry, Michael. Sorry to bore you, but we've, we've actually run out of, uh, run out of questions, so... Uh... That's it, finished.